World of Warcraft fans, let's take a trip back down memory lane and revisit the Vortex Pentacle. The Vortex Pentacle was a dungeon back in Cataclysm in the um, Uldum uh, region. Here's what the Adventure Guys has to say about the Vortex Pentacle. The Vortex Pentacle exists within the elemental plane of Skywall. Its elegant structures, crowns with bronze and gold, sit atop platforms bridged by pure air. Yet behind its exterior beauty, the pinnacle harbors Neferset Tolvir, as well as Al Akir, the Windlord's merciless elemental legions. As long as the barrier between Skywall and Azeroth remain open, terror will rain down on Uldum from the skies. This is a dungeon with three bosses. We currently have it set to heroic. Uh, for Mount Hunters, um, you can actually run this on regular mode and farm it. The second boss, Altarius, drops a mount. I do not have said mount yet. I don't anticipate we'll get it on this run because it's such a low drop rate, uh, but it's on my list of mounts to farm. We'll take a closer look at the bosses once we get to them. I am farming reps, so I will be fighting all the mobs along the way. I do love the, the, the overall design of this dungeon. It's a really beautiful dungeon. I always like running it back in the day too. Visually, I think it holds up very well, especially being all the way back in Cataclysm. If you can see, I'm farming Ram Kahen, um reputation. I have a tabard on, I'm trying to get the uh, reputation uh, mounts that they have. Oh, those volatile, volatile air have a little bit of value to them. We'll be able to sell them, make a little, little profit off this run. We're about to come up on the first boss here, Grand Vizier Urtan. Let's take a look at the adventure. Urtan defends the Vortex Pentacle under the command of her master, Asad, against any ground dwellers who dare intrude on the realm. To fulfill her duties, the elemental noble has been granted mastery over the primal forces of lightning and wind. Here's a quick look at the loot that could drop from this one. Because we out level everything so quick, <laughs> unfortunately, um, you barely have to do anything to take the boss out. No new appearances, but that um, has a nice axe that drops. I think I already have the dagger. I've ran this a few times. You might remember, uh, oh, there are these slip streams you need to use to get around. I don't remember what the golden orbs are. I wonder if I missed any. We'll keep an eye out for them, but I'm not overly concerned about the golden orbs. I actually forget what they were and what they do. But now I'm curious, and so now I'm like peeking over the corners. The art design on these elementals is nice. I think it holds up really well to this day. You can already see the uh, next boss all the way back there. And this is a nice design too, because you have a, you fight this young little dragon up here before you fight the the next boss. See, so I see another golden orb there. These things are a pain. Gotta knock them out of their bouncy back. I'll do one. I guess it's not gonna do anything at my level. Two golden orbs. Oh, uh, do you have to fall to get them? I bet you have to fall to get them. I wonder what they, I, I wish I could remember what they do. If you know what they do, let me know in the comments. All right, I'm, to keep things moving, I am not going to fall off to get it. I recently did this dungeon on time walking, which was fun to go back to. This boss has a, we won't get to see it, unfortunately, because it's over leveled, but it has a fun mechanic of uh, the wind blowing in different directions. You got to run around. All right, let's take a look here. Altarius. Here's Altarius's drops. This is what we'd love to get, the Reigns of the Drake of the North Wind. Um, but it's such a low drop drop rate, I'm not anticipating we're going to get it. The immense storm worm Altarius maintains an unyielding vigil over the hovering platforms of the Vortex Pentacle. The very energies of the storm pulse through this being, and he is said to command the wind currents that buffet the elemental. And down goes the boss. <laughs> And no mount. There's more of those golden orbs. They're, they're, oh, they're up there. I wonder how you... I don't even know how you get them. Huh. I wonder what you have to have to do to actually be able to get them. All right, we're looking for our slipstream, which is right up here. We're now to Thunder's Rise. I always like this uh, where the wind would uh, increase your speed as you ran up here. I always thought that was a nice little little touch. Some more golden orbs. I always remember these being a pain in the in the rear back in the day. There, you, you were, I believe you were supposed to fight them outside of this 
this uh, electrical triangle thing. My loot appraiser is getting excited, but no way these things are going to sell for as much as it says they will. That just means somebody's posting them for that. Oh, nice. These are given rep. Sweet. Everything becomes so trivial, trivial when you out level it so much. We're coming up on the last boss. All right, here we have Assad. Assad. The fearsome elemental Assad was named Guardian of the Vortex Pentacle by Al himself, with Seamat Lord of the South Winds imprisoned by the Neferset Tolvir. Assad believes he may ascend to the Conclave of Wind if he performs his duties well. The final boss of the Vortex Pentacle. There we go. No new appearances. We got a Chaos Orb. We can sell for a couple gold at least. Um, if you run the whole dungeon, the it's nice. This one still has a way back to the beginning. Because I want to stay in Oldham, I'm going to run some other dungeons in the area. This takes me right back to the beginning. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more WoW content um, or Pokemon content, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, drop a like. Thanks.